Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to a new video. My name is Jack and today we're having a brand new trucking video. So let's take this corner. Um, in the Netherlands we have this signs over here, like 60 kilometers wide now. Um, if you see that, it says 60, but for truckers it's 50, okay? So that's not a rule, it's not a law, but just take it in your measurements when it says 60 you need to slow down to 50. It's just easier that way, especially when you're loaded or kinda heavy. Just do it, it's way easier. Today we're going to Hasselt. We're going to Scania. Oh, that's a nice truck, okay. And yeah, basically, um, it's not really that like, wow, this day is so much potential for content, blah -de -da -da. No, 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 it's basically just a random trucking day. A lot of easy stops. Um, there's one stop though that I want to show you guys because you have dogs. There is basically no one else over there. It's basically just me. But the dogs are like really narrow and the space you have in front of you is even worse than the last video I've shown you. So yeah, I'm always uh, happy to show you those kind of special addresses so I can show you what you need to do so you won't have to trouble about it. Ah, oh, it's so slow. <laughs> Come on truck, you can do it. Up. Yeah, so we loaded with around 9K of engine parts that's that that's that's nice engine parts i would just call it engine parts and i'm just gonna park over here real fast because i like this spot not to get ready with my not to get ready but um not to put the navigation system because like i've said it before you guys navigation system paperwork you have to do that before you leave the company that's not a rule it's just good advice otherwise you're gonna be driving like oh man i need to type in the address oh fucking hell you know <laughs> just just think ahead okay uh, no i'm gonna go in here because i have to go to the toilet and look how much space i've got over here so i'm gonna pee real fast and then we're gonna keep on driving maybe i will make a time lapse the sun is shining so yeah we will see but i Willie really gotta go, so I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so I fixed the paperwork. This is always a tight fit. There we go. And a truck of course, so don't make it too long. Uh, yeah, I fixed the paperwork and that's all right. So yeah, we're going to New Loester right now because yeah, it's kind of a hassle, but in Hasselt we have to fix the papers. Now we're going to New Lo Loester to unload the cargo. I don't care, that's just how it is. <laughs> so yeah, make it a little bit long, go to the white line and follow the white line so your trailer stays within the lines as well. If you learn yourself that, it's way easier once it starts to rain or when your mirrors are dirty or whatever, it's just easier that way. Also here, yeah, don't be like him, fucking hell. Just corner, go to this corner, and then this corner and you'll be set and it's easy so yeah don't be like that guy like so many truck drivers drive like him and sure if you want to be like him go ahead but like it's not good for the company name on the side of your truck it's also not good for your own name like it, it just looks unprofessional to say it like that so nothing professional about it so yeah anyways let's keep on trucking baby Woo! also with this there's a lot of signs warning you that you're driving too fast so there's gonna be a tight corner definitely so yeah, just slow down take it easy we don't not in a rush I mean one thing you have to keep in mind we're not a taxi driver we also not like a small box driver. I don't know the English word, but think about DHL, that kind of stuff. We're with the small fans. We're not. We're also not that. We drive, as you can see, we drive big trucks, heavy trucks. 
So yeah, just be a little bit aware of what you're driving. I've said it multi multiple times before, because once you're driving this, it just feels like a normal car, to be honest. You're only a little bit, of, a little bit longer and that's it. But that's not the case. I mean, you're insanely more heavily than a fucking car. Let's, let's say this car is 1600 kilograms. I mean, only the truck weighs 7500 kilograms then we have the trailer let's keep it easy 7500 kilograms we, we weigh into 15k kilograms that's when we empty i am loaded right now with 9k of cargo so that makes a total of like 24,000 kilograms in total so even though it drives the same it isn't the same. Like you will need to break in a lot earlier. And yeah, that kind of stuff, you're a little bit wider. Oh, of course, you're way longer. Like over here, we're driving on an 80 road. Can you see the lines from where we're driving within? Over here, the lines where we're driving within. It just fits. That's it. You, you almost have no play room, so. Like, I don't use the phone when I'm driving. At least I try to prevent it. I also don't uh, support it. But especially if you are a driver that uses the phone while driving, do your thing. I'm not here to judge, but one thing, two things actually. Please, don't do it on this road because one small steering error like this could be fatal because you will be on the other side of the road and it doesn't have to be you it can be a bump in the road on one side something like that that it's uneven so please don't do it on an 80 road it's way too narrow for that also please don't do it when uh, when it's like a split thing on the highway you have to drive in the middle so you have cars on your left and on your right side don't do it then as well but be my guest i mean in my opinion don't do it at all there's a lot of companies where you just can stand still like and do it there it's way safer for everyone yeah just do it over there also a fun fact you see the wheels on the truck over there um, like every row of wheels can have 9,000 kilograms and I know every trucker that's watching right now thinks like Jack don't tell me I already know no I know you know but a lot of like a lot of children are even watching this channel that want to be a truck driver and they want to teach and learn so much about this kind of yeah work related in transport and logistics so also the basic information i like to share for the people that are not familiar with it so that's quite nice so let's go farmers are we still with the farmers come on like the video trots op de boer are we still with the farmers fuck yeah we are like the video to show your support for the farmers let's go okay so there we go again over here we're driving i want to show you because it's really really tight we're almost there we have to go to the wide over here take it slow but take it wide you see the cars in front of you you need the space okay like that can be a problem at some point and probably he has to go over this way Ugh, i was distracted okay so yeah as you can see we need space so just take your space also we make it a little bit long and then we're going to this way just take your time take your space okay so take it to the right because you have to think from your trailer remember that guys you want your trailer to be over here so once i steer in here my trailer will go past the curb over there and then we're going in here. Take your time, take your space. It's not that hard. Just go to the things like the poles and that kind of stuff. And just keep in mind what I told you guys. Keep a safe, dist keep a safe distance from one meter to half a meter. 
So once you turn around, you won't make damage. I'm going. I have to give the papers over here. And I will record the dock because it's wide over here. And there we go. So normally we go to the wide over here, but here's my friend unloading. My friend, do you know him? Fuck no, I don't know him. But he is driving an LZV. And everyone who's driving an LZV is my friend. Like, you see, it's a one-way road, so, but we have permission to go in here. And like what I've said to you guys, we're basically the only one over here, so it doesn't even really matter. Also here is a lot of traders there, so make it long. Go to the bushes and just like, yeah, easy as that. Yeah, you saw the stray cats. I don't know why there's so many stray cats over here. There's like the two, and I think there are three stray cats. I don't know. Where is he? Is he hiding? Uh, he's already gone. Anyways, so these are the docks, and as you can see, like, it seems big. I can tell you it's not that big as it seems like. It's doable, don't worry. But we have to turn around because, yeah, you don't want to go from your blind spot mirror, especially once you don't have to. What you gonna do? One meter, you see? One meter. Make it slow, and now we're going. Not all the way, not all the way. Let, let the trailer wall away a, a little bit away from the other trailers and from now on you can go full on. You see the one meter I was talking about? Use all the space. Go back to here, go back to here. Let it wall. And now we're gonna make it slightly straight again. Like this. Let's see if we can do this in one try. I don't think so. There we go. So we're going here. I'm gonna take out space because it's very narrow. So I already told you guys, if it's narrow, make it long. If you have space, make it tight. So when it's very narrow, 30 degrees. 30 degrees back to make it straight. When it's very, you have all the space, just go past the docks. One, if I have to go on 16, you go to 17, 60 degree, 60 degree. Okay? can see we're going too tight no problem just drive it back steer forward just take your space I might even just take a little bit of more space just a tiny bit there we go we first and we do it again also make it straight while I turn back Now it's looking good, but now just a little bit more space. So we're going back again once more, making it a little bit straight. You can see the mill up there, use it if you're not sure how far you can go. Like over here there is grass, but sometimes there's a lake like that right over there. We first, and here we go again. Just a little bit more to the front. There we go. Okay, it's not touching. It seemed like it. But it wasn't. 
now we're just gonna do a small left small right and now i'm gonna open the doors Just see how long the fucking trailer and the truck is. Like every big step is one meter. I just have to make like, I don't know, 20 small steps to even get to my fucking cabin. Okay, reverse. Last time. I think that is about straight. Um, not too much. Like what you could do is just make it straight one more time. But instead, I was just I will just look in the back how it seems like, how it looks like. Looks good. No worries. If you doubt it, you can just look in the back. But it's it's alright. It's really hot. Let me check how old it is for you. It's. Uh, 26 degrees and I made a mistake I put on the wrong jeans sweatpants I guess so yeah let me cool down for a bit <laughs> okay guys also over here take it wide because there's a trailer over here and you might gonna need the space as you can see Easy and over here. There we go. Basically, this was all the day, and that's it. I didn't have any more pickups, so we will have to see if something comes along, but I don't think so. But I will keep you up to date, and otherwise, I will do the outro in a minute. So. Okay guys, so this was the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. My name was Jack. This was a new trucking video and I hope to see you in the next trucking video. Please like, please subscribe and don't forget to join the Discord. In the descriptions you will find it there. My name was Jack. Until the next one. Woo!